Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to share with you a little bit about the power of your thoughts, how you can create your reality, how you're already creating your reality and also a little bit about visualization and how you can utilize that tool to create the results that you truly want. So many of you have thought, have heard uh, saying like thoughts create things or what you think about you bring about but I don't think many people actually explain it or understanding properly what does that truly mean. So I was talking to one of my clients today and she was manifesting, uh, she was asking for promotion at, at work and she was like, I thought about it all the time and I thought about it all the time and this is not actually happening the way I want it to be. And I asked her, okay, well, did you actually believe it? Did you think it in the conscious mind or did you think it in the subconscious mind? So there's two parts of your mind and depending where your thoughts are happening, this is either happening to you or it's not happening to you. So when you're thinking about something, you're believing, for instance, I'm going to be promoted. This is what I'm actually manifesting. This is what I'm focusing on. This is what I'm thinking about. I'm going to be promoted. I feel it. I can see it and all that stuff. If you're thinking it at a conscious level, which means it hasn't been actually, it hasn't sunk in into your subconscious yet, what you're going to notice is you're going to be thrown off very easily. So for instance, you have a conversation with your boss and they don't offer you the promotion, something is being said or something is being done that is kind of is, is looking like it's not going to happen to you and straight away you're going to lose it because you haven't brought the thinking into your subconscious mind. When you bring the thinking into your subconscious mind, you actually deeply believe it in your bones. So you're actually relaxed, you're completely expecting it to happen and things are unfolding outside of you. So even if maybe something is being said or done that doesn't look like it's going to happen, you still know deeply that it's going to happen to you. And how do we develop actually belief in something in our subconscious mind? The subconscious mind is actually the machinery that gives you every single result you want. And you need to bring your thinking into the subconscious mind so that you achieve the result that you want. So for instance, if you're thinking that you're going to be promoted, you're going to be promoted, but deep down in your subconscious mind, you don't feel it that you're going to be promoted. You feel a bit, um, you know, fearful that maybe it's not going to happen, then you're probably not going to get it. So you've got to change the belief. You've got to move the thoughts to actually subconscious mind so that your body goes into the right action and also you invoke the law of vibration and law of vibration means that when you're fused with the idea of what you want you're literally changing your energy levels you're in the in the vibration or frequency of that result that you want and you're attracting every resources you're attracting all the opportunities and you're attracting ideas in order to fulfill what you actually have asked for and one of the ways that i really love to move your idea or your goal or your paradigm to move or result to move it from your conscious to subconscious mind is very visualization. And if you really want to get proficient at visualizing, I would like to recommend a little lovely book called Your Invisible Power. And as you can see, I have markers everywhere because I love this book so much. And when in, in, in chapter six, it teaches you the process of visualization. It's an amazing book, really amazing. I truly, I, I, I love those little, uh, little ones because they always teach you the most wisdom. This one, Science of Getting Rich and, and others. So I want to share with you a little bit about visualization. What is visualization? So for instance, you want to be promoted. And this is just an example of a goal or result. You want to be promoted every morning, just right after you wake up, and just before your bedtime, you want to close your eyes and you want to visualize that promotion. So put yourself in that chair where your boss is telling you either on the phone or on the, either in person, telling you, you received your promotion. This is the pay rise you're getting. And actually go through the situation in your mind, in your imagination every day. What you see, what you hear, what you smell, what you touch, and most of all, how you're feeling. Because feeling 
brain is the language of subconscious mind so it's going to help you to actually believe it and remember when you believe it you're invoking the law of vibration which is literally you're attracting everything you need to you because your energy changes you're in the vibration of your goal rather than vibration of your reality right now and also uh, you're much more confident you're relaxed and it's just like you know it's gonna happen to you so how do you visualize I love motor imaginary which means uh, you put yourself in that place so you put yourself you close your eyes and you visualize I'm sitting in that chair and I'm literally hearing my boss saying this and this and this and this is what I'm wearing and this is what he's wearing this is what I see this is what I hear and I'm feeling that handshake and that in very firm and how I'm feeling is this and this and this I feel proud I feel joyful I feel like excited I feel so at ease because I know it's gonna happen and literally go through that picture day and evening the best times to visualize is in early morning right after you wake up and just before nighttime just before your bedtime because this is the time when your mind is most absorbent and it's prone to suggestions so you're actually going to sink in that new thought into your subconscious mind so I hope you guys try it it's really fantastic fantastic, fantastic uh, tool and remember if things are not happening to you well there's two there's two reasons why that might be one because you don't believe it at the deep subconscious level so the thinking is not happening at the subconscious it's happening just on the surface level and number two sometimes we also have one of universal laws which is called law of gender which means there is a gestation period for my goal and that means that maybe my goal is going to happen later so I keep I need to keep believing I need to keep visualizing because I know it's gonna happen it might just take a little bit longer than I thought so I hope that gave you some food for thought today guys and I hope you will test it out and by all means if you want to learn visualizing more and deeper get yourself your invisible power by Genevieve Berand M magnificent book really really highly recommended so thank you very much have a great week and enjoy manifesting your dreams